The Cardinals are in a fantastic position. They've got options, and one of them is to grab Marvin Harrison Jr. That guy's exactly what they need, a big, talented wide receiver. He's bound to be a star, or they could sit tight and let someone else come to them for that fourth pick. Remember Kyler Murray? He bounced back strong after his injury last season, especially as it went on. Even with not much talent around him, he still looked good. And now, with a chance to get even better, we might see him reach those highs we saw earlier in his career. Marvin Harrison Jr. is a rare talent, unique in his own right. So why overthink it? They made the trade last year to put themselves in this spot. It's simple. Help Kyler Murray get a star-wide receiver at fourth. Easy call. Let's talk about the Arizona Cardinals. This team's been making moves this offseason, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. And it's not just about offense. The defense is getting some love, too. What's crazy is the draft hasn't even happened yet, and the Cardinals are already looking stacked. They've got a top-five pick, which means they're primed to add even more talent. With what they've already got, plus their new head coach, Jonathan Gannett, who didn't do too shabby in his first year, this team could surprise a lot of folks. But before I dive into why I think that, if you're into Cardinals content like this, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, back to the Cardinals. Last season, they went 4-13 under their new head coach, Jonathan Gannett. Last season wasn't what most people hoped for, especially after a disappointing 4-13 record the year before. We were expecting some improvement, but Kyler Murray's injury dashed those hopes. People tend to forget just how good Murray is because he's often sidelined, but when he's on the field, he's a top 10 quarterback, no doubt. Sure, his injury proneness is a concern, but at just 26 years old, he's got plenty of time to bounce back. When he returned from injury last year, he looked sharp, still as electric and athletic as ever. If he can stay healthy this upcoming season, the Cardinals could have their best run in ages. Playoffs might even be in the cards. But let's not put all our eggs in the Murray basket. The draft's crucial, as I mentioned earlier. And the new guys they brought in, they need to step up. Losing Maris Brown and Rondell Moore stings, sure, but it's not the end of the world. The Cardinals have a plan. I'm not completely against the decisions they made. It seems they didn't want to shell out big bucks for Maris Brown, and trading Rondell Moore brought in some extra draft picks, which isn't a bad deal. Losing those two isn't the end of the world. Here's why. Michael Wilson, drafted last year in the third round, looks promising. Despite shaky quarterback play, he's shown flashes of real talent. With a solid QB on the field, he could shine even brighter in his second year, maybe even becoming a key player in their wins. Sure, outside of him there's not a whole lot, just Zach Pascal and Greg Dortch, but they're not terrible. Add in a new draft pick and they'll be fine. Speaking of the draft, it's no secret what the Cardinals are eyeing. Marvin Harrison Jr. could be a game changer. Son of the legendary Marvin Harrison, he's got potential to surpass his old man. He's one of the best receiver prospects in ages. And mark my words, he won't just be a standout rookie. He could be one of the best in the entire league right out of the gate. And with Kyler Murray tossing him the ball, sky's the limit. Plus, he's a big guy, which never hurts. But here's the kicker. He's lightning fast, too. A dream combo for any receiver. He's been tearing it up in college, no matter who he's up against. There's no reason to think he won't keep that up in the pros. Imagine adding him to this offense. Suddenly, they've got a solid group of weapons, especially with tight end Trey McBride in the mix. McBride quietly racked up over 800 receiving yards last season. People don't talk about him enough, considering how good he is. With Murray playing most of the season, McBride's poised to do even better this year. Tight ends don't usually rack up that many yards, but McBride could be Murray's go-to guy after Marvin Harrison Jr. Michael Wilson rounds out the receiving options nicely, with Zach Pascal and Greg Dortch holding their own as fourth and fifth choices. 
But offense isn't just about throwing the ball. With Murray under center, the run game opens up big time. Even without Murray last year, the Cardinals had a solid ground game. With him back, it's only going to get better, especially with James Conner in the backfield. Conner's another weapon in this Cardinals arsenal. James Conner is one of those players who doesn't get enough credit for how talented he is. Just look at his stats from last season. Over a 1,000 rushing yards, 7 touchdowns, and averaging 5 yards per carry. That last bit is no small feat in the NFL. With the offense maturing, I only see his performance getting better. A strong run game can do wonders, especially when it sets up play action for Murray. With that, this offense could easily crack the top 10, maybe even the top 5 next season, which would be huge for the team's success. But the Cardinals didn't stop at offense. They beefed up their defense, too. Despite last season's hiccups, I liked how Jonathan Gannon ran the defense. He got the players to buy into his system, and I expect even better results next season. Bringing in Justin Jones on a reasonable three-year, $30 million deal was a smart move. They needed more upfront help, and Jones can deliver. Plus, signing Sean Murphy Bunting adds strength to the secondary. Alongside standouts like Buda Baker and Jalen Thompson, the defense is looking solid. And let's not forget M. Wilson Sr., another underrated addition to the mix. Even though he didn't get a ton of playing time with the Patriots last year, he showed promise in his limited snaps. Teaming him up with Kazir White adds depth to the defense. While they didn't make any big-name signings, these additions could be more impactful than people realize, especially if they bolster the lineup further in the draft. With a strengthened defense, cracking the top 15 isn't out of reach. Pair that with an offense that's top 10 material, and suddenly, the outlook's a lot brighter than last year. Progress is all we're asking for, maybe even a shot at the playoffs. With a young team like this, the future looks promising. But hey, that's just my take. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Drop your thoughts on the Cardinals in the comments below. And until next time, catch you later.